The Prophet وسلم, was such a beautiful person that he used to dress up beautifully and apply perfume when he used to go home to his family. How many of us, we want our women to look nice, but you look like a tramp, Allahu Akbar. And then we come and complain, she never dresses up for me. Well, do you dress up for her? It's a sunnah. You want to follow the Prophet, peace be upon him. You want to know what kind of a husband he was. He used to smell so good and look so good, subhanAllah. We're talking of the best husband, the most blessed of all creation, the highest in rank of all. We need to follow him. Dress up, you go home, take pride in your hair, take pride in your clothing, what you look like, what you smell like. You come home, they should look at you and feel attracted. Come on. The Prophet ﷺ was intimate with his spouses and he fulfilled that right of his spouses. How many of us, a month passes, we haven't even been intimate with our halal wife. She's busy waiting. She's dressing up. She's trying to attract you. So I'm tired. You're tired for what? There's an ibadah to happen at night. Some of us might be weak for tahajjud, but you can't come and complain that you cannot be intimate with your own spouse. And I'm not ashamed to speak about it because men are guilty of thinking that women don't have sexual needs. This was the Prophet ﷺ. He tells the companions, Fi budu'i ahadikum sadaqa. Remember when you're intimate with your wife and you fulfill her needs and you satisfy her, it is an act of charity. The Sahaba were rightly so. They asked the question, Oh wow, is it really a charity? He says, Well, if you put it in haram, would you get a sin? So they said, Yes, we would get a sin. Well, if you put it in halal in a proper way and you're conscious of the fulfilling of the rights, you definitely get a reward. Even during the menstrual cycle, the Prophet ﷺ used to do everything besides intercourse with his own spouse, subhanAllah. And we cannot get into further details, but the Prophet ﷺ has explained this to a certain extent. We stop at that extent. He says everything besides the act itself, because you and I know that is prohibited during the menstrual cycle, but you can still do a lot, subhanAllah. Many people, oh, so you're on your cycle. All right, see you after a week. What's going on? I'm being honest. That's a woman. It's not her fault. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Treat them with respect. That is a husband. That is what the Prophet ﷺ told us. He instructed us. He said it with his own mouth, his blessed lips. The problem with us is we're focused on another woman somewhere outside. That's what it is. Astaghfirullah. May Allah protect all of us. Now when you come home and it's halal and it's a sadaqah and it's a charity and your wife has been waiting for you and at times she's actually looking forward to it. She's protected herself as best as she can. And you know what? You just say, I'm tired. Tired for what? If there was a football match, you would have forgotten your tiredness. May Allah forgive us. If there was a UFC match, you would have waited until three in the morning. But for your wife up to 11, also you can't wait. Learn. The true sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, he was very open in his advice. The Prophet ﷺ taught us that if you don't have anything constructive to do after Salat al-Isha, go to bed. Why? Wife is waiting for you. The problem with us, we'll go to bed but still be on WhatsApp until 2 in the morning. Right? Subhanallah. The wife tosses and turns this way and that way. And you're not getting the message. Subhanallah. She's trying to touch you and you say, hey, wait. But where is the Islam in you? Your Islam should make you think, why am I taught to come to bed here? For what? I'm supposed to go to bed because I have a spouse. Why did you get married if you don't want to spend the nights with your wife? For what? Sit with her, talk to her, play with her, be intimate with her, fulfill her rights, satisfy her, go to bed, get up for Salatul Fajr or Tahajjud, and don't be ashamed to have a shower. Even if the whole house knows what happened at night, so what? It was halal. Allahu Akbar, it's my religion and yours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding.